Hello, hello. Excuse the state of my desk. Well, my piece of paper. <laughs> Today we're using bee, b -b -b banana milkshake, lily pad, strawberry bonbons, and lilac lace. Oh, my phone! What kind of a life in life two minutes? Okay, I've muted that shit. So we're doing a coat of Alaska and curing it. I'm now adding the uh, colours just in a curve. I wasn't really sure what I was going to be doing. I was just making it up as I go along. I did know that this is going to be using a bubble mix though. Um, first time for me using bubbles. Why? Because I, I don't like them. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of how they look. Sometimes they look cool. Okay, don't get me wrong. They do look cool sometimes. But I just, I don't know. I don't get it. I'm just, yeah. So um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and make them smooth as well. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's going to take the effect off. I don't know. I'm just, as I say, was just trying it out. I think one of the reasons I haven't done it is because you have to get up and go and get a glass of water and some washing up. Like, I can't be. I'm sat down at my desk. Don't make me move until we're finished. You know, I don't want to have to get up. So I think it's just more of a meh reason that I haven't tried it yet but as we are still on lockdown I've got nothing else to do so this obviously haven't cured those colors I'm now running a brush through creating a tie-dye um, you don't end up seeing the tie-dye at all so you know don't worry about making it neat or anything because you're not gonna see it uh, I'm now going from the other direction I was wiping my brush between strokes but then I got bored of doing that so just stopped <laughs> Uh, and then this will have a cure once it's done. I should have filled in and made sure there's no white bits, but it's it's no big deal. But, you know, if you're doing it, try and make sure there's no white there. And that will have a cure in the lamp for a minute. I now have a glass of water and some fairy up liquid. Well, wash fairy washing up liquid. Fairy up is fine. Um, and I stirred this for about three and a half days to get some bubbles. I wanted to make sure that they weren't tiny bubbles. I know a lot of people say, oh, make sure you get the tiny ones. I don't want the tiny ones. I wanted bigger ones because I wanted to see the pattern, but it, you don't, so. Um, and I know some people mix some parts of acetone or IPA with some cuticle oil and some clear gel. I'm not faffing about with all of that. Don't be ridiculous. Just washing up liquid and water. Um, here I am quite clearly <laughs> painting over that in white. Um, fantastically out of shot and then taking my bubble mix and giving another little stir and then I'm going to pick up some bubbles and just lay them on the nail I was trying to get it to go on the tip because the tip was not having any of it but you can see instantly this starts to bubble so I thought just get it in the lamp so that's had a cure full cure and now I'm wiping it, which has made a blue tack slip around. And yeah, it looked kind of cool, but it was rough as fuck. So I thought I'm going to buff it. Um, and then I buffed the first bit too much because I buff off some of the bubbles completely. So decided to lightly buff it. Oh, the noise of children outside playing. You little brats, get inside. Um, and... Uh, Yes, giving it a light buff. I do file the sides as well. And then top coating so that it's smooth. You do want to float quite a thick layer because even though you've taken off like most of the roughness, it's still uneven and a bit scratchy. So just top coating that. And oh, and then I went to get another stick and the crystal had fallen off the end. Tried to give it, tried to give it, resuscitate it, but it wasn't happening. No, it didn't grow back, so I just lay, lay a towel over it, and uh, that will go in the bin. <laughs> so that is that one. I'm showing you on different backgrounds just because I couldn't see in the camera which one it was showing up against. And I thought it needed a bit of a power up, so I thought I'm going to try it with some super bright colours. Uh, so we're going in with Tequila Sunrise. Is it Tequila Sunrise? Yes. This colour is bonkers i mean it looks super bright here because it is it's super freaking bright it's insane um and tiffany and illuminate 
and then I go in with bubble gum because if you're going bright you've got to have bubble gum and then I thought that it needed a bit of something else so I um, had to get out my seat oh, and uh, got some Bora Bora see at my normal work desk everything's there once I'm sat down I don't have to move and I'm doing the tie dye again but really I'm just showing you how dry my cuticles are <laughs> I think the next video might be me doing my nails because um, I've chipped one and they're so dry and awful just from hand washing and I don't know lack of um, looking after them so I really liked this and I kind of didn't want to cover it but I did for the sake of um, researching, trying things out. So that had a cure and now white over it again. And so this is why I wanted the big bubbles so that you could see some of the pattern, but you don't again, <laughs> never mind. Maybe if I had a straw and blew some bubbles and got some really big ones, but then I don't know. I probably won't try this again. So popping that on there, putting it in the lab. Oh, I'm blue tacked this to my thumb to pretend <laughs> um, and I do quite like that I must admit I do like it I'm not converted but I don't hate it anymore so yeah that one not I I mean it worked fine and the bubbles look cool but I just don't think I was a fan of the pattern underneath um, all the bright colors I think it did look better with the pastels giving in another gentle buff um, so as not to buff the pattern off and yeah okay could have cut could have cut some of that uh, and then top coating and that is it um if you're you know if you can be asked to get out your seat and go downstairs under the sink and get some washing up liquid and a cup then definitely give it a go um it has given me an idea for something which i might do at some point although as i say based on the state of my nails the next video might be me doing them if i can be asked <gasps> oh i've gone in really lazy mode when it comes to um filming so thank you for watching subscribe for lots more videos give it a thumbs up if you like it and i will see you in the next one bye, -bye.